Hello Kima friends and welcome to this new video. This is the second video of my longsword techniques series and today we are going to give a look to a parry repost. So this parry repost is ideal when the opponent lands against you a uh, mandorito fendente. Now, it may be the first attack, as you see in this example, but it may be the second or third attack that you parry, it doesn't actually matter. To land this parry riposte, you simply need to reach frontale. So you reach posta frontale and from there you deliver the mezzano toward the opponent's neck. Ideally, you want to land the mezzano as much as you can by using the leverage of your handle. Landing the action in this way makes you able to keep the line closed, the line that you just close it with your parry, so that this line can be considered safe enough. If you want to land this action against the first attack of the opponent and not, generally speaking, during a fight, you have to provoke the opponent attack. And uh, you can do it in a number of ways, actually, but the most important concept that you have to keep in mind is that you have to invite the opponent attack. Now, ideally, if you expect a fendente, the opponent will most probably be in posta di donna. Posta di donna on the right, because we expect a mandorito fendente. So, if we see the opponent in this kind of position, we may invite him by just uh, lowering our weapon in Porta di Fel. To make the invitation more realistic, you can do a number of things, actually. The first one is trying to expose your head a little bit forward, so to invite the cut toward the head, which actually is the ideal cut that you want to receive in these kind of conditions. The second one is to do a little step forward, just by uh, using an accresere, as Fiore says, so moving a little bit the front foot forward. Try to not move it too much, because if you do it, it will be detrimental to your plan. You may end up being hit by the opponent. Instead, try to move a little bit forward, maybe in a twitchy way, so that the opponent feel the conditions ideal to land the attack. But in reality, it is not the case. Now, another approach to stimulate the opponent attack is to step forward with a full step, so actually a big step, into the opponent attacking distance. You want to move into distance in a fluent way and look, this time, kind of relaxed. The idea is that you enter closer and uh, you make the opponent start the attack. But to be able to parry, you actually have to start the parry before the attack starts. So it has to be a fluent motion. You enter under measure and uh, while entering under measure, you start your parry. So that your parry is already there when the opponent attack starts. This is a high risk, high reward kind of tactics, but if it works, you land your riposte in a very easy way. An important trick that you have to keep in mind while landing the riposte is to move sideways toward your right if it is possible. This kind of action actually makes for another layer of defense from the possibility that the opponent keeps pushing with the first attack toward you, but also creates a better line of attack to land your mezzano toward the opponent's neck. Very good people, we are at the end of this video. We have seen another technique. Thanks for watching as always. Remember to check my Patreon, link in the description, if you want to support me and the channel, of course, and if you want to see more of my contents. Thanks for watching again, and uh, as always, see you next time.